Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my goodness, another crazy idea coming your way. And I have been wanting to do this for quite some time, but trying to think of a way to do it. We are going to be redoing our deck soon, and I kind of want to screen it in um, and make it kind of like a sunroom. And I just want to decorate it like garden garden party, you know, gardening out there. Um, so I've been wanting to make like this faux herb garden to hang on the outside wall, outside. Um, I don't want it to be real because we have a major bee and wasp problem by our house and I just think it would attract them even more than what we already have. So, plus I have no green thumb, not even a little green thumb and everything I try to grow dies. So at least this will look cute even though it's not real. But I've been trying to think of how could I do this? How could I do like a little piece on the wall that looks like a herb garden? I know this is going to be an obscene amount of supplies for this project and I'm so sorry but every one of them plays a part so I hope it's not too many things to go get. I hope it turns out. Cross your fingers. Come join me on this crazy ride and let me show you what we're going to use for this project. So you will need nine four by six Dollar Tree picture frames. And Dollar Tree sells these little planters. How cute are those? And you get three for a dollar. So you only need three packages for this project because you're going to need nine of these to go in each one of those picture frames. All right. We're going to need these. They're called Jot Magnetic Clips. They come four in a package for a dollar. I need nine because these are actually gonna hold, but you get 12, so I'm sure we'll use those for another project. It actually is perfect to put on this little bitty planter and it holds it perfectly. Now, the next thing <clears throat> is these are called magnets, just plain old magnets. They come six to a pack, six for a dollar. I got two, we're gonna need nine because I'm thinking if I glue a magnet to that picture frame, then this should hold. If it doesn't, then we won't be using these and I'll be E6000 these to the picture frame. I'm hoping that I don't have to because that would kind of be neat to be able to change it up. You know, if I glue this, this will always be there where these I can always do something else with it maybe. So, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. It's been a long week and I couldn't wait to get home from work to do this. So, on with the next thing. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before, but I thought this would really look cool for our background, and it is a foil backsplash wall sticker from the Dollar Tree, and it looks like brick. Pretty neat. So I grabbed two of these because I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to use. Like I said, there's a lot of things that you need for this project. The backsplash, the stickers, picture frames, the mag magnets, the little cute little planters. Oh, so last but not least, I was trying to think what I had already um, that I could use as the top to put like herbs on it or herb garden. And if you're like me, you, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always, for every holiday, I grab a lot of their signs. During Christmas, they had a sled and I probably bought like three or four of them. I used the sled in my Easter video. I put a bunny on it and I just used the middle piece. So I still had this part left. So I think I might use 
this to do the sign at the top. I can use the back of it and paint it. So I think that's what I'm going to use. Um, grab something, anything, or you don't even need a piece of cardboard. You could paint it on it. So if you don't have one of those signs for Easter, they have a ton of them. You might be able to find something that you like better for this project. So I'm excited to get started. So let's get crafted. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so you're going to start by removing the plastic from the picture frames. You're going to take the back off and the glass and set that aside. You will be using it later. I chose to push the tabs back in um, just because it makes it flat <clears throat> because you are going to be gluing these pieces together. Using E6000 and I used hot glue to secure it while the E6000 dries. You're going to want to put them in between the sides of the picture frame for the first three. And then when you go to add the others, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to put it on the side and the top and securing them all together to make your nine um, picture frame window. So right now I have six of them together. So I'm doing the E6000 at the top in hot glue and on the side so that when you put the frames together, they are secured by both um, E6000 and the hot glue. Now you're gonna wanna flip those frames over, being very careful because the E6000 has not dried yet. And you're gonna want to put hot glue in between the indentions of the frames and add some popsicle sticks. I got these popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree. They are the skinnier version because these are smaller frames and they fit perfect in the creases of the frame. So, Put them in all of the creases and then you can take some popsicle sticks and break them in half to fill in those little gaps that you see, which is what I'm doing right now. This helps secure the frame um, so that it won't come apart since you are putting, you know, something had not so much heavy, but a little bit heavy on it. So now I'm going to take that cool backsplash from the Dollar Tree. It was folded already and that actually benefited me because the glass from the picture frames fit perfectly inside those folded creases. So I flipped it over, I put the glass in between the creases and using a Sharpie, I am just tracing around all of the pieces of glass so that I can cut them out. Once you have all of those pieces cut out and they will be the perfect size to put on your glass, now you're going to want to grab the glass out of your picture frames and start putting that on your glass. I found that if you take the backing off of this and kind of fold it over, putting it at the bottom of the glass and then you can just use your hand to guide it up gently and it works perfect. Now you're going to want to take your magnets and one side is the magnet, the other side is the plastic and see how that clip fits perfectly. You're going to want to measure each of the glass pieces and I did one inch down and one and three quarters inch across. So you're going to want to take all of your glass pieces that you just put that um, brick backsplash adhesive on and you're going to want to measure and put a little dot on each one. Ok, 
Okay, once you have that done and they're all measured, you're going to want to take some E6000. You're going to want to put it on the plastic side of your magnets. And you're going to want to put those magnets on each of the nine pieces of glass that you did. So while that's drying, I chose to take some Waverly in um, Elephant and dry brush over um, my picture frames. I had spray painted them white, but I just thought that it needed a little bit more to give that vintage country look. And I found that using the um, Elephant Waverly paint worked perfect to give that effect of like um, distressed almost look to the picture frames. So I'm just going over corners and sides and that's, you know, your preference. So now I'm going to take that top piece to that Christmas sign that I had and paint it white. And I decided to use some letters that I had gotten from Dollar General. They come in a package and I think they're either a dollar a package or two dollars a package. And they're just little wooden letters. They fit perfectly on the top of that sign that I'm using. And I gave it a nice coat of the white chalk paint. And then um, I'm going to go over them with the elephant. So right now, exactly what I did for the picture frames, I'm doing on the top of that sign. Just so it matches and gives that more country um, appeal to it. And now I'm going to go over it, each of the letters with the elephant. I still didn't think they popped enough, so I ended up taking more of the elephant paint and making the letters just a little bit darker. And I really liked how that turned out once I put the letters on the sign. Now you can see how cute that I call it like I guess a window um, made with the frames. It's so much better now that I added the um, chalk paint to it. So now what you're going to want to do is after you've waited a, probably about 24 hours, I forgot to tell you this part, to let that E6000 dry, um, you're going to want to start putting the glass pieces back into the picture frame. I don't know what I was thinking here, but I put them in and I forgot to put the backing on it. So now you see me going back and adding the back of the picture frame to it. This actually makes this piece a lot more secure. So you are going to want to use both the glass and the backing from the picture frame. Look how cute that looks. It has that brick effect because of that backing that we had got from the Dollar Tree. And I think that this project is just turning out so adorable. So take your clips and put them on your magnets. Now I had used this Krylon in this teal color to paint each of my little pots because I thought that would give it that pretty burst of color. Originally I was going to paint them white, but I think the teal just makes this piece pop. And I love that color. And I think this is exactly what this project needed. So there it is so far. It's looking adorable. I'm absolutely loving this. Um, after putting the pots on here, they did, the magnets did move a little, not the magnets on the picture frames, but the hooks. So I did add a dab of hot glue to the back of the hooks and ended up gluing them to the magnets. So now take your letters, position them on your little piece the way you want them. And I always hot glue the first letter and the last letter down. And that way the spacing works out pretty good when I go to glue the rest of my letters down. So now you see me gluing the letters to that little top piece of the sign. I ended up going with just putting herbs on there because my piece wasn't big enough to put herb garden. So if you have a bigger piece, you know, put whatever you want on it. And right now mine is just going to say herbs. So now using hot glue, 
position the sign at the top the where, where you want it. And once you have it where you want it, add some hot glue to your sign and put that top piece right attached to your little window that you've made. It gives it a super cute effect and brings the piece all together. So I'm gonna use some foam blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting little squares to fit the flower pots. And I'm gonna be putting those foam blocks in each flower pot. I picked up some flowers from the Dollar Tree um, that I thought mimicked like the looks of herb, I got onion grass, and then I got some with that had white flowers, some that had purple, some that had yellow. Like I said, I'm not putting real herbs in this. This is just a decoration to mimic like a wall herb garden. So you can do this with real if you want, or Dollar Tree sells a lot of different kinds of flowers that really make this piece come to life. And there it is. I'm showing you it on my front porch because my back porch is not done yet and I just wanted to be able to display it. I actually found this cute little garden hat at the Dollar Tree and I put it on the table and I think that goes well. So when I do put it in my backyard, I think I'm going to put that hat with it too. This was a fun, fun project. I am so proud of the way it turned out. I think it looks exactly like I had it pictured in my head and I hope you enjoyed this too. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and always consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you and as always, I hope you had a wonderful and blessed day and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video.